But let's talk about the metal cactus. The metal cactus is a genus of cacti with more than 30 species. If grown outdoors or in the right conditions, it can grow up to 90 centimeters in height and 30 centimeters in diameter. When it thrives, this cactus has a very interesting cephalium. And to some people, this cephalium looks like a fest hat. So it is also commonly known as the terse cap cactus. My cactus here is very young, so it doesn't have the cephalium. But I'm gonna try to give it the best care. And if it gets one, of course I will let you know. The care for this cactus is not super difficult. We just have to follow some requirements for it to thrive. So let me tell you how you can keep this cactus very happy at your place. In terms of temperature, this cactus is not frost hardy. So we want to keep it in a place with warm temperatures. A temperature above 21 degrees Celsius will be perfect for this cactus and it will thrive. And since this cactus likes warm temperatures, try to really avoid temperatures that are below 15 degrees Celsius. So place your cactus away from cold drafts, for example, away from a cold window or far from air conditioners. Humidity should not be an issue as long as you have this cactus in a well-draining potting mix. The metal cactus right here needs full sun to thrive. This means that we should be providing at least six hours of direct sunlight every day. This is of course direct sunlight or direct supplemental light. So for example, right now in Berlin, we are in winter, so we don't get so much sunlight during the day. And what I'm doing to provide the right amount of light is that I have this cactus right underneath a grow light. This is an LED grow light that provides blue and red light. And it seems to be happy there. In the spring and summer, when temperatures rise, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this cactus in our balcony. This is a south facing balcony so it gets lots of bright sunlight. And I'll let you know how it goes. Only water your mellow cactus when the potting mix starts to feel dry. And very important to consider, this cactus is different from other cacti and succulents. We don't want the potting mix to go completely dry in between waterings. We always want to have a little bit of moisture in the soil. So we want to check the potting mix just to let it dry a little bit in between waterings, but not completely. But very important, the mellow cactus doesn't like soggy, wet soil. So we want to provide a well-draining potting mix and let the soil dry in between waterings, but again, not completely. Also make sure that the pot of your mellow cactus has drainage holes. That way you make sure that the excess water can drain down. So the soil is moist, but not wet. Remember, the potting mix here is very important because we want a well-draining mix so we can water it and it's not gonna be soggy. And at the same time, always remember not to let the soil dry out completely and your cactus will thrive. The metal cactus will thrive in a well-draining potting mix. So you want to place your cactus in a sandy and rocky mix. You can either use a well-draining cacti potting soil or you can make it yourself, but make sure that you add pumice, perlite, sand or lava stones so you increase the drainage. This will help you to prevent overwatering and to protect the roots. Fertilize your cactus only during the growing season, which is spring and summer. And just as an extra note, the blooming season for this plant is in the summer. What I recommend is that you feed your cactus with a well-balanced fertilizer for cacti and succulents. As a plant beginner, I like to use organic fertilizers because these are way less concentrated than synthetic fertilizers. And this helps me prevent over-fertilizing my plants. And of course, always follow the instructions in the bottle of the fertilizer and observe your cactus just to make sure that you're not over fertilizing it. Do you have any other tips for the mellow cactus? Make sure to comment below. I can assure you that the whole community will appreciate it. If you have any pictures of your mellow cactus and you have a cephalium, I would love to see it. So make sure to send it on my Instagram account and we can talk there. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Okay, <laughs> ciao. <laughs>